Today, let's talk about the top 10 reasons people collect watches. Welcome back to the channel. This is Anthony, the humble horologist. We're going to look today at a survey of 100 or so watch collectors on different Facebook groups. But what I want to do today is, in a general non-scientific way, tell you what their responses were in the order of least to most common. Number 10, to tell what time it is does make me wonder why would that be the least important reason to collect a watch i mean what are watches for but to tell the time but you know there's obviously more to collecting a watch or collecting watches than just telling the time heck we got our cell phones for that right number nine for the photos Oh, tell me you do not take pictures of your watches and put them on Instagram every time you turn around. We love to photograph our watches. Look, I'm doing it now. See my watch? I love to take pictures of my watches because I like to show them to other people. It's not that I'm bragging because most of my watches aren't worth bragging about. but I like sharing them with other people, so a photo is necessary. And if I can get kudos because people think I'm a really good photographer, then that's, that's good too. Number eight, to have a hobby that no one else understands or even cares about. Honey, let me show you the new watch that I got. Really, another watch? Hey, dude, over there, random guy that I don't know. Look, you want to see my new watch? I'm sorry, I don't talk to strangers. Doesn't it seem like every time you want to turn around and tell somebody about a watch, they're like, their eyes glass over like sapphire? How many people do you know that literally would sit down with you across a kitchen table and talk for the next hour about your watch collection? How many people hate seeing you come to a family reunion bringing a box of watches? If you pick this hobby to make friends initially, it's probably a stupid thing. However, there are Facebook groups and there are other ways to meet people. One of the things that I like doing is just walking up to a total stranger and telling them, hey man, that's a really nice watch. Number seven, the historical contributions to watchmaking made by one brand. What kind of collector is that? Someone who collects, say, only vintage Timex watches. You know who you are. Or maybe you collect only Rolexes. I have no idea who you are. But that's a pretty cool thing to have a collection of watches that their significance is so important that they change the watch world and focus on that one brand. Number six, the investment. This is where I go to my software and find the lap track. <laughs> investment purposes. <laughs> Look, if you have enough money to go buy you a JLC or a Patek Philippe or something like that, more power to you. Go ahead and enjoy the watches that you have in your safety deposit box or in a safe. You do you. Number five. To own a piece of history. Now we're talking. And you know what? History can be defined in many different ways. History as in the history of watchmaking, the history of a nation, particular city, the history of a brand, or even family history. Because as I collect watches, I love getting old watches that tell a story about a particular era in history. I like having watches that span the decades and you can see history unfold in the design of the dials. I also love having watches that belong to my ancestors. 
because each one is a little bit of history that I can hold on to. Number four, four, for the pure enjoyment of it. Just because you love watches. Yeah, there's lots of other reasons for collecting watches and we've already went through six of them, but for the pure enjoyment is one of the reasons why people collect watches. They just enjoy doing it. Hey, great. All right, so we're almost to the end. Number three. Number three is literally the one that I like the most. If I were to check off any box, if I were to give a reason for why I collect watches, it's for the stories and the conversations that come along with them. I love talking about where I got the watch. I love talking about the dial, why I like it better than some other kind of watch. I like talking about where I got it, when I got it, who I got it from, how much I paid for it, if I got a good deal. If I didn't, I don't really tell them that part. And then I like to talk about maybe the history of that particular watch. I like to talk about all kinds of things, the stories, the details, its conversation. Guys, God made us for community. And watches are a way to create conversations with other people, even people that you do not know. Number two. Number two is almost a given for the fascination of the art and the craft. Guys, when people ask me why I collect watches, once I got into the actual repairing of a watch, taking something that did not work and making it work again, seeing it come to life, knowing that it has been around places and times and people that, that I will never see, but it has, if it could talk, it had stories. It's almost like it's a living thing. I love seeing the mechanics of it. I love looking at what somebody has done to express themselves in the artwork of the dial, of the rotor, of the jeweled movement inside. It's fascinating. We could go on and on and on about the art and the craft of making watches. Some of us have a deep appreciation for what we're holding in our hand or wearing on our wrist. We're looking at through a display glass. Isn't that amazing? It is. And number one, out of 100 people, the number one reason they collect watches, they're addicted to shiny things. Now I have to warn you and me that if the only reason that you really honestly are buying watches is just because you cannot help yourself from buying something new and shiny, you need help. But don't we all?